Now, I mentioned a bit earlier when we talked about plot stamps that I absolutely love fields inside of AutoCAD. And one of the reasons for that is the amount of time that I have spent counting parking stalls. And like all things quantities, we all come up with our own ways of more efficiently counting things inside of AutoCAD. But my secret to performing linear quantity calculations, especially for those of uh, parking stalls, is to leverage fields. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Jumping back here into AutoCAD, I have a very simple site layout with some parking stalls inside of it. And one of, I think, the key things that we have to observe with parking stalls is the one good thing about them is they're all the exact same width, which allows me to sort of take this a step further and think, well, if I could just take whatever the width of a stall is and consider that one, then I could count my stalls more efficiently. Can fields do that for me? Well, they can. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First things first, we need to figure out what the width of my stall is here. So I'll go ahead and open up my calculator and I am going to use the little measure command that's built here into the calculator command. I'm gonna go ahead and pick two points. And you can see here that these are approximately 8.5 feet wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one divided by 8.5 and whatever it measured right there and hit enter. I want one to equal that distance. So here is my value. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just right click on that and say copy, that's all I need to do, all right? So next what I'm gonna do is focus my attention now on this block attribute that contains the, the parking count that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click into this. Now what some folks don't realize is that we can put fields inside of block attributes. In fact, right here in the enhanced attribute editor for value, if I just right click here, we have the option to insert a field and that's exactly what I want to do. Now we can create fields as we saw a bit earlier for lots of things inside of AutoCAD, but one of the key things that we can do is focus in on the properties of some object in my drawing. So here under field category, I'm gonna come down here to where it says objects. And what I would like to do is report on the properties of an object. Now, since AutoCAD has lots of different objects and each of those objects have its own unique properties, we do have to guide it here a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is pick this little select object button here. And you'll notice I have this big fat blue line in my drawing. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now that's tracing the back of my parking stalls, which is basically the length of my parking run here, so to speak. So with that in mind, I know that basically one stall, the eight and a half feet, should equal one. And that is a function of the length. So for that, I'm going to select length as my property right here. Likewise, even though my current units are set to decimal, I'm going to just override that and make sure it's set to decimal. And likewise, I don't want a half stall. I'm just gonna go ahead and round this. So I'm gonna go ahead and round things down to the nearest whole unit. Now, right now, this is 223 feet in length, and I certainly don't have that many parking stalls. I have far fewer than that. Now, the secret here in using fields for this function is to come down here to where it says additional format. Now, the magic here is this guy right here, this conversion factor. Right now, I'm just doing a one-for-one -one conversion factor, so 222.5 is reading out as point, or 223. However, if I paste in that conversion factor, that 0.1 right there. So then I copied that to my clipboard just a moment ago. I copy that in or paste that in here. Notice it changes that to 26. That's really awesome. So let's go ahead and say, okay. I'll say, okay, here again, and okay, yet again. And just like that, it has updated the count there to be 26. And what's awesome about this is it's dynamic. So if I remove a stall here, let me just do a quick regen. You notice it changes the count to 25. Now, if I needed to count the other stalls in my project, the secret here is just pick this line and pick the block. Go ahead and pick both of those. I'm just gonna copy these to wherever I need them. So maybe I wanna do this run of stalls right here. I'll just copy the tag right there. And what I'm going to do is just modify this blue line to trace my curb line right here, like so. 
And as soon as I do that, I'll just do a quick regen once again to make AutoCAD update the count. And just like that, it has counted those stalls as being 20. So it's as easy as that. You just have to figure out the typical width of a stall and use the conversion factor to make the field report the length of eight and a half feet as a single unit. And just like that, you can count your parking stalls really quickly and easily using fields.